Fancy Nancy, The Case of the Disappearing Doll by Lori Israel. Ooh la la, I'm having a fancy tea party. I set the table for my guests. Mom is changing my bed. I have no idea how you find anything in here, she says. Brie and her doll, Chiffon, arrive. I go to make my doll Maribel. Her doll bed is empty. Maribel must be in her dressing room, I say, or in her vacation chateau. That's French for house. I can't find Maribel anywhere. She couldn't have disappeared into thin air, says Brie. If Maribel is missing, I say, it can only mean one thing. Someone took her. Why would someone take Maribel? asks Brie. Why and who, I say. It's a mystery. We've got to solve the case of the mis disappearing doll. What do we do first? asks Brie. Look for clues. First, we look like sleuths, I say. That's fancy for people who solve mystery. Brie and I go to the playhouse. I look out the window and see Jojo and Freddy. Maybe Jojo took Maribel, I say. She's always taking my things. Let's interview Jojo, I say. That's fancy for asking lots and lots of questions. Spill it, I tell Jojo. Did you take something that wasn't yours? How did you know? Asks Jojo. I ate your popcorn, admits Jojo. I'm sorry. I meant Maribel, I say. Oh, I didn't take her, Jojo says. We see Grace riding on her bike. Is that a doll in Grace's basket? Asks Brie. Grace parks her bike. I reach into Grace's bicycle basket. The jig is up, I say. That's fancy for gotcha. I know you took Maribel. Why would I take your doll? Asks Grace. My doll was made to look like me. Of course, I say. I was just making sure. Brie and I go back into my room. I see a new clue on the floor. It's just a hair tie, says Brie. A tan, plain hair tie, I say. Are you thinking, asks Brie. Mom took Maribel, I say. Brie and I hear noises in the basement. We go downstairs. I spend a lot of time with Maribel, I say. Maybe mom is jealous. Mom's shadow is behind a big bed sheet. Aha, I shout. One question, mom. Recognize this? I show her the hair tie. Oh, thanks. It must have fallen out when I was in your room, says mom. When you were in there taking Maribel, I ask. Sweetie, do you really think I take your doll? Mom asks. If you didn't take Maribel, then where is it? I ask. We can't find her anywhere. Where did you last see her? Asks Mom. I got Maribel out of bed, changed for the tea party, and put her on my bed, I say. You took my bed sheets, I say. Maybe Maribel is in the sheets. Brie and I look through the laundry basket. She's not here, I say. Scrabble, oh no, I say. I see Maribel in the washer. Mom stops the washer and opens the door. I'm so happy to see my doll. I'm sorry I blamed you, I say. Mom gives me a hug. She accepts my apology. We can have our tea party now, asks Brie. We, oh, yes, I say. The case of the disappearing doll is closed.